everyone. Welcome to In Nature's Realm. Uh, my name's Bruce Smith and today we're off to do another uh, day of fly fishing. Now today we're heading to Kyneton. We're going to fish two reservoirs. One is Colin Reservoir and the other is Lauriston. There is a third reservoir by the name of Malmesbury we'll have enough time to fish it and um, we may have a look at it to see what the water level is and so forth. Now at today's weather, well I've been driving probably about halfway on the uh, colder highway and um, it's been raining all the way. It's just starting to stop now which I had a look at the radar and I could tell that was going to happen. So it's overcast, which is good. Um, light winds, which is good. And they're going to be from the north, which is good. Um, so I've got all the ingredients of a uh, successful fishing day. But sometimes it just doesn't go to plan. Sometimes it does. So um, we're going to give it a go and just see uh, if we can catch a trout or two. All right, here we are, Lauriston Reservoir. Got the fishing gear all ready. And as you can see, the lake is definitely 100%. And this is the first gate, eh? Have a look at this. Now, when we look at the what's in front of us here, see a lot of trees. You do get a lot of trout around trees. For some reason they congregate around them, probably after mud eyes and stuff like that. For a number of reasons. So let's investigate that way. Fallen trees around here. Incredible. actually fish this little cove up here. Now, as always, we should watch the water for any signs of fish trout feeding so I've been doing that and I'll continue to do that all the time Oh, 
Oh, well, doesn't this look good? It looks very snaggy. Incredibly snaggy. And you can almost bet that um, we're going to snag up there. But you've just got to try it. I'd say there'd be a tree just in front of us here. So let's give it a go. Got the old bag flying on. Let's see how that goes. Get a cast just down here amongst these trees. Just a short one. Just a bit of an investigation. Now there'll be a log there. Oh yeah, I can see it now. If I had my Polaroids on, I would have seen it real quick. So I'm going to flip that up. Ooh, geez, that was lucky. All right, we'll go over it. See if we hook up. Waste time, don't let it sink too much. Give a pretty quick retreat. Alright, so have a quick retrieve. We'll avoid that log. So let's get some distance now. He's here going to be landing the trout here. Oh, yeah. It's very difficult. That's a good distance. Go a little bit over this way. It's a nice cast. Now, I've just heard that there's trout uh, feeding at the moment and they're catching a few. I don't know exactly. Just taking it on word of mouth and uh, hopefully it's good advice. Alright. We'll come back in a few minutes, see if we can get some footage of us catching the trout. Alright, um, now I've covered this cove, I've given a, a good blind fish, nothing's moving, no trout are showing, so it's now time to go a little bit out into the main part of the lake, which is just up there, so let's travel this way. Continually watch the water.
Oh, I'm all this. It really bends to the uh, to the left. Whoa! This is incredible. Oh, because the northerly wind has got really kind of going off. All right. Well, here we are, sitting on this gigantic log. Nice and dry too, which is amazing with the rain that we've had. And then we've got the lake. It does an absolute U horseshoe shape. It's amazing. But with a northerly wind here, this comes right out. This is one that's good for the memory banks. Because I fished this lake at different places. It's a massive lake, it really is. But there's nothing moving. I've got them dab chicks and a couple other birds that shoot under the water. Make you think that uh, there's a tree up moving, but they're not. I suppose um, being such a big lake, you've just got to know where they're at at that time. Uh, this has been stocked, I'd say. And the trout could be anywhere. You've got to go where the food is. Simple as that. Go where the food is. And uh, obviously, I'm not there. That's a beautiful life. Beautiful scenery. It's just magic. Well, what I'm going to do is I'll watch this for another half hour. If I don't see anything, well then we'll move on to another spot. Give it another go. Simple as that. Alright. See you soon. Alright, well here we are on Lauriston Reservoir and um, I've come to this spot because I'm starting to see right here, too far to cast to, some sort of movement. I don't know if, wind, if it's wind or, it's too hard to tell but there's definitely, could be something, but uh, and we'll blind fish. See if we can pull up to something that might be around. I think there's something moving out there. But I do know this lake is full of roach. And if there is any surface activity, I'd be definitely on it. I just have to wipe this away, I guess. Oh, that's a good cast. 
Alright. So we'll switch you on. If we see any action. So we've uh, we've just left Lorison Reservoir. Um, fishing wise, catching trout wasn't successful, but it was successful in regards to uh, experiencing nature. And we seen some beautiful scenery. We seen some uh, beautiful wildlife. We saw an echidna, which was just fantastic. You never, you very rarely find. Uh, echidnas um, out in the uh, open so uh, that was fantastic all we've got to realize fishing wise is that it's it's late winter and it's coming up to spring and um, springtime will be the time when we start to see increases in insect hatches and we start to see temperature rise and that's when we'll start catching the trout so it's you know a bit of a waiting game. Um, you'll have those days where you don't catch fish, but to say it was successful is absolutely wrong. It was a brilliant day. And I hope I'll see you next time in the next video log of In Nature's Realm. See you next episode. Bye for now.